friends and honored guests. My name is Cindy Sneed, and it has been my privilege and honor to serve as chairman of our library board. Thank you for joining our community as we celebrate and dedicate the Stokes Brown Public Library and the Gorham McBain Children's Library. And we'd like to welcome today Congressman Black, Carrie Roberts, Dr. Sabi Kumar, State Librarian Chuck Sherrill, and Regional Library Director Becky Bagley. I stood here a little more than a year ago at our groundbreaking and noted that the library had not attained its happily ever after, but was beginning a bright future with many new tales to be written. In May, we turned the page to the next chapter, and today the story continues to unfold. We must recognize the generosity of Mr. Stokes and Sarah Brown and Patsy Fye Forthick. These individuals possessed a love of their community and in part due to, and, and this wonderful library facility is here today in part due to their gifts to ensure its future. But all of us are authors and contributors to our library story our generous financial donors, our volunteers, our students, our computer users, our smallest readers, our avid fiction readers, our genealogists. Each of us writes a line in our library book and influences its plot. It's our hope that the Stokes Brown Public Library becomes a transformative power in the lives of all who enter its doors. And likewise, you can and you have transformed this library. Please join our staff, board, friends of the library as we celebrate throughout the day. Immediately following these remarks, we have a very, very special event in the Gorham McBain Children's Library. Take a little time, walk around the building, and enjoy the fabulous watercolor paintings of former Springfield resident John Wilkerson. For the young at heart, we have the Snow Sisters and their summer-loving snowman friend making an appearance in the Children's Library. <coughs> Later this afternoon, some performers from Willow Oak will share a very special performance for our dedication celebration. And be sure to tour the newly created Children's Garden. Amazing things can happen when a community comes together to support a dream. And the Stokes Brown Public Library illustrates the collaboration between the City of Springfield, Robertson County, the financial sector, and the generosity of those individuals who believe the state-of-the-art library can make a difference to all of our citizens. County Mayor Howard Bradley and Billy Paul Carneal are vocal library advocates. And at this time, I'd like for them to come up and say a few words about what this day means to them. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, it's a good thing we expanded when I look at, at this crowd. And I think, Jeff Butcher, when you blessed us with a beautiful prayer a year ago, uh, about 15 months ago now, as the groundbreaking, uh, I mean, occurred, uh, we knew this was going to be a wonderful asset to our community. But as it unfolded and came to completion, I think it exceeded our, our highest expectations. And that there are so many people who need to be thanked for this. And Paul Nutting in his detailed way of always seeing that nobody gets left out is had a little list here of some that he thought needed to be mentioned today. He could not be with us, but is away from the city on some city business. But uh, he mentioned today, of course, the library board, and I can't mention the library board without thinking of Cindy Sneed. I don't know anybody that has ever been more devoted to this library than you've been. And uh, you have given it hours and hours and hours of time. And the last time I talked with you, which was about a week ago, you were down here, you had to in the conversation because you were coming down here to be setting up tables and putting things together. 
and that's uh, definitely a hands-on leader. Uh, James Marshall uh, is related to me by marriage. I hate to tell that. <laughs> Heavily involved in this project uh, as well. A very dedicated library board who spent a lot of time, dreamed a lot, worked even harder. Uh, I want to mention the friends of the library who consistently are there to support the library and help so much with the fundraising that took place. I mentioned the building committee, which was headed by Alfred Border, and you know if Alfred gets on a project, he doesn't know to stop, he just knows to go. So he certainly has played a big role in this as well to our contractor, to the architects. And finally, I'm gonna mention our city engineer, uh, David Brewer, who uh, has been an outstanding project director. <laughs> but then I wanna conclude by just saying, just look around you in this neighborhood now. Look to downtown, look to the old middle school, which was our high school, which still is a, stands tall as a, as a symbol of what's good about this community, this city, this county. Look at a courthouse that's been very well restored, still leaks occasionally, maybe the clock needs to move to you. It's about six minutes late now. I don't know what I'm going to do But you see all of these things, you see a greenway, you know, you, uh, you know that there is a brand new elementary school that is a masterpiece of, of architecture and gives us plenty of room to expand our school system and take care of needs. You see a college that has, um, has become a rousing success. You see a wonderful hospital. You see a great YMCA. You see a, a city and a county that sometimes the biggest enemy we have is the fact that we don't have enough pride in what we have here. And we need to give Springfield and Robertson County a, a big hand. It's a great place to live. <laughs> and finally, uh, I just want to thank all of you. May each one grow in grace and knowledge and find strength and joy in the gifts of your creation. This we ask in your holy name. And may the God of love, the source of our being, the ground of our being, bless each one of you now and in the days to come. Amen. Amen. Enjoy. Amen.